All right, big day today. Here's the Blackjack 29 uh, electric boat. We've got a six cell LiPo on the inside. We'll actually dual three cell linked together. A little bit of water because I just had them in the, in the uh, lake for the thumbnail. We're gonna hook up the batteries. Two 5,000 milliamp three cell LiPos. And my Impulse, this is the Impulse 30. Uh, well, pardon me, the 31. The 31 is 31 inches long, and we're gonna be running this one on a 4S setup. So dual two cells that are 5,000 each, both of them basically with the same 80 amp system in there. You can see this one can take a 6S as well. Uh, but we haven't run 6S in this uh, blackjack yet, and guess who's going to be piloting? I'll be test driving your boats today and letting <laughs> you know which one I like better. Nice. Uh, so how many uh, times have you been on a lake with a boat? Like one. an RC boat? Yeah, one time. Thank you. One time. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, think you can take on a 6L speed test today? Oh, dude, I can totally take on the 6L. The only thing I'm actually thinking about is the, the V. The V-Hall boat. Big V-Hall. Yeah, you haven't tried this one before, hey? It handles a little bit differently than the catamaran style. Yeah, the blackjack was a nice one to start on. Yeah, it's nice and flat, and so is the water today. Yeah, but I'll let you guys know at the end of the episode which one I like better, because I did start off with the catamaran type, and now I'm going to go to the, the V-Hall. So let's see which one I like for a beginner yeah, driver. Yeah, it's, and a beginner on a 6L with supervision. How is that hard? <laughs> but uh, you, you actually haven't run the V-Hall on a 4S. That's why we're running you on a lower battery today. And since you have driven the catamaran and you were very comfortable, everyone saw in your last video, good job by the way, boop, boop. Uh, that you can handle it. So, to the lake, to the lake. To the lake, to the lake, to the lake, to the lake. Make sure your controller's on. Battery's hooked up, the prop line has been greased. Turning it on, beep, beep. A little rusty from whenever it flipped the boat. <laughs> but we did recover. Lipo cutoff is on. Get things hey. in here. And the geese are out. The water guard. We are good. Launch the boat. Launch it. <laughs> love rubber boots, by the way. Rubber boots. Nice job. I've launched before. Here's your controller. Sorry. Should have pretty good range on it. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Same thing where it steers better when the throttle's down? Uh, kind of, but V-holes are more responsive, I find, okay. just because they slice through the water. Gotcha. Instead of floating on top. So I definitely noticed the power difference versus the uh, blackjack that I drove the other day. Well, this is actually on the same battery setup. So maybe a little bit of a different prop, um, but it was a few weeks ago, so. It's true, and this is a different boat. Completely different boat, different setup. Get in your sea legs. Yeah. Do you want to go up higher? Yeah, I do actually. And you can get a wider view, hey? Yeah, I can actually see how it does turn. Interesting. Great speed. I'm not even full. Full. That's full out? Yeah. There we go, a sideways view. That's pretty good for 4S. Oh, that's so beautiful, just sleek across the water. I remember being in a really fast speedboat one time. It was really cool. Nice. These are one of the few RCs where I'm actually okay to think that I am actually could be in it and it would be okay and I wouldn't throw up. <laughs> you want to go for a ride in this one and, yeah. and not get sick? I challenge that. <laughs> Speedboat! I was... It's a good time. I learned it's cool. And you're outdoors enjoying the fun. Yeah. And the sun. I like this boat. Great range when you're up high, it's awesome. Yeah, nice range. Instead of being in the valley, being up above gives you a better distance to be sure. I don't think I want to be behind that with uh, skis on. 
you'd be drenched. I guess you'd be drenched anyway, but you'd have a constant rooster tail splashing you. Nice, you're quite far away. Yeah. Woo, quick turn. So how does it turn in comparison to the catamaran? Very different. I, I don't actually know the adjective you would use. Is it sharper it. or does it no. respond? No, so you do need some space to turn, hey? Yeah, I actually found the catamaran turned better. But that again, like you said, was a couple weeks ago. Very nice. Try to do some tight figure eights for us. We need to get some uh, floating tennis balls or something out there so you can have something to run around. True. The thing I liked about the steering, oh yeah, well, it would be interesting. I figure eights are, this is interesting. It takes time, just like anything in RC. It's not just get up and go. You can functionally do it, but there's a finesse to it, that's for there sure. There is. Nice, really responsive it seems. It is on the left hand turn. On the left turn. Yeah. And so I hear that it's actually the prop wash, all the water coming off of the prop. Because gotcha, the right is very lagging when you, like that's left right there, nice and tight. Yeah. And then this is right. Same, same Yeah, it rate. does lag quite a bit. Quite a bit. Well, so that's I'm sure. that's something that you gotta consider when you're, with your driving style. Mine happens to be, well. I'm sure that uh, there's some viewers that'll give us some advice that mm. have more experience with the boats and having them turn. Like, uh, number one, we can set it up on a better remote where we can change the travel distance of the servo. Um, but I wonder if there's a way to, to uh, manually, hardware-wise, help this. Looks good, though. Woo, she's a ripper. So, uh, that was good. Are you, do you think you can handle the 6S? Yes. Time to, time to strap on some heavyweight speed, hey? Strap it on. <laughs> yes. Uno. So we're gonna use an upgraded radio for this one. I've switched it over to my DX4R just because we have better control. And like I was saying about the uh, turning on here, I've already turned up the travel on the servo uh, for the right-hand turn, but it really doesn't make a lot of difference. I'm not sure if this prop actually interferes right here, mm. interferes with the water flow when it's trying to turn. Well, that would be to the left or to the right. So yeah. Turned it on. Yeah, radio is already on. It just snaps on. Yeah, make it nice and tight because it is the seal. There we are at the front nose. Beauty, great. Ready to go. Ready to go. Pin on the front. Nice, this one's a little bit sticky. Kind of got to push it down right there to get it gotcha. to go. There gotcha. you go. Done deal. Awesome, good luck. Thank you. What a great shot. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Here you go, beautiful. sweetheart. Thank you, dear. Alright, 6L, huh? 6S! Oh yeah, you can immediately tell the difference. I'm barely touching the throttle. What I mean barely? Barely. She's such a beautiful ride. The way it goes up on a plane. Whoa! Oh God. <laughs> I did. Okay, no sharp turns when you're doing that, by the way. You can rip it, get to one end and then come back or wherever. It's no sharp turns when you're going that fast yet. Let me know. Okay. Awesome. Let's go up top. Yeah, that needs an up top. <laughs> All right. Okay, better view again. Getting comfy. Pretty far. Bring her back, babe. Oh yeah, super fast. That's why I want to do the diagonal. So fast. It does slow down nicely though. That's a lot of drag on that boat. Whoa! Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa! You got you recovered! Bring it back, slow. 
Bring her back. Itself. I know I am just getting over the shock of flipping it. I don't know if I want to be in that boat. <laughs> you know what? That's what I was thinking. I was laughing to myself. I'm like, uh. All right. Now try to stay away from that far bank over there. Stay closer to us. I always try to RC where I can see as much as possible. Wow, nice. She makes short distance of that lake. Small lake, but still. What a beauty. What do you think? I You're speechless. It. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Our top! Don't move the boat. Dun, dun, dun! We're gonna lose another top to the depths. Uh-huh. Hey, everyone thinks they can handle a 6S out of the box. 4S is a good place to start, isn't it? 4S is a great place to start, from, but from a boat to boat comparison, yeah. I personally prefer the blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> My smile is huge with, with Oh driving. no, I see it tipping. I see the lid tipping. It's gonna make it! I don't think my rubber boots are going to go in there. No, I don't think so. So why don't you take the boat? No, no, you go ahead. Slowly drive it back because we don't want it to sink. Now that the lid is off. Not that slow. Faster, babe. There you go. Let's just get her back to the nearest shore. Good job. Bring her right into the beach. Okay. Nice. Well, we definitely saved the boat. Now, do we go and get the raft to get the lid? I don't know. I should think we, we should wait. Oh, yeah, yeah I think we'll we wait. wait. <laughs> Sorry. No, that was happens. seriously the power that just lifted the front up. I know. I think it was great power. It was. You had fun? It was super fun. You had fun? <laughs> Give me a high five. You did a great job piloting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have you out driving boats more. I love boats. We're gonna have to get your own boat for you. Here we go. Hey, what? What? 